right, so I just walked up to the uh, Jabber booth here and asked my new friend Klaus Fannes Beck whether the brand new Jabra Elite Sports I just got for Steve for Christmas are obsolete because I got something else new here at CES. What did you say? Well, I said that uh, things in True Wireless is moving forward. And uh, while the Jabra Elite Sport is still our top product, um, we wanted to present the market with a True Wireless product that uh, was a little bit lower in price and didn't necessarily have all of the sensors and all of the high tech. Uh, that the Jabra Elite Sport had. So I should explain, the Jabra Elite Sports are, are wireless headphones. Uh, think AirPods, no, no wires between them. Uh, but they also have a heart rate sensor, they've got an accelerometer, um, I forget what else they've got in them, but all kinds of cool electronics. Yeah, and uh, what we're launching this year at CES is now the what we call the Jabra 65T, was, which is uh, the true wireless earbuds uh, optimized for music, optimized for calls and uh, future-proof in the sense that we now have a um, Amazon Alexa certification for uh, integration in the AirPods. Uh, so you can use that for your voice assistant. So if, ear, if these uh, earphones, or these are headphones, I probably never said that in this whole thing that we're talking about here. So uh, what does a headphone being able to talk to Alexa do for me? Well, the, the headphone is just the channel. Alexa does what Alexa does, but now you have an optimum freedom. You just tap your headphone and you're right into talking to Alexa or Siri or Google now or any other voice assistant. So what, what Google and Amazon and the other guys are doing with their voice assistants, you can now do via your headphone. So is it talking to your phone that is then in, in turn talking to the assistant? The phone is integrated in this, of course, but, um, but whereas some of the voice assistants reside on the phone, Alexa is now residing in the cloud, so that makes this integration a little special. Interesting. So does this free you then that you don't have to be in the room where Alexa actually is? Yes, it does, because it's Alexa on the go, as we say. Okay, and the, uh, the elite sports kind of say, well, you better be off the couch running in order to use these headphones. You've taken the word sports off of it, makes it a little more accessible to people, and the prices come down. Yes, we have, but we're also doing a, a, a little special here. We are uh, launching the Elite 65T in this format, and then for another $20 at 189 you can buy the Elite 65T Active version, which uh, slightly optimized for running and for sports. There's still only an accelerometer in it, so you don't get the heart rate sensor, you don't get the IP67 rating, but you get enough that provides you with a two-year warranty against uh, sweat and dust and so on. So for the active user, there's a version also. Okay, that looks fantastic. Uh, we've been really happy with these. He's been very happy with them. These uh, these don't lose. They don't break up at all on the Bluetooth. I mean, they're they're fantastic for that. Yeah, they are, and and, and we're actually uh, independently testing these up against our biggest competitors to find out who has the most stable connection, who has the best voice interaction, and so on. And right now, what I can say is that it looks like we're coming out on top. I, I have to tell you, Steve and I did figure out a way to make it break up. I was wearing AirPods, he was wearing his Elite Sports from Jabra, and I hugged him and we both lost connectivity. <laughs> yeah, well, it's uh, two Bluetooth products working uh, probably not that well together. They were like, what? We don't know what to do. All right, thank you very much, Klaus. If people want to learn more about the uh, Jabra Elite 65T, where would they go? Uh, probably jabra.com slash elite. Great, thank you very much. Thank you.